I'm going to start with a confidence level here of 90% of the actual mean price of Monopoly games on eBay. I've gathered a couple of data values from eBay here. I'm going to start with the alpha. The alpha, I'm going to hit the equal sign and then do 1 minus the confidence level as a decimal. So 1 minus 0 0.90 and we end up with 0.1 and I don't want to autofill. I'll go ahead and X that out. So the alpha, the area left over in those tails is 0.1. I'm going to do the standard standard deviation next. This is also a parameter that we need for the confidence interval function. The standard deviation is STDEV and I'm looking for the sample standard deviation. I'm going to choose this one and then parenthesis. If you want to know what input it's asking for and it doesn't tell you, go ahead and click on the question mark here. So it wants to know what values. I'm going to go ahead and click, hold and drag through my data and then I'll hit enter. Um, again, I don't want to autofill. Uh, let's go ahead and round this one. I'm going to decrease my decimal places using this key up here, and I'll just do it to three decimal places. Next is our sample size. So I just want the count here. So this is equals count parenthesis, and I'm going to again click, hold, and drag through my data, and then hit enter, and I've got 12 there. Now for the margin of error. This is what Google Sheets and Excel will give you when you use the confidence interval function. So I'm going to hit equals and then I'm looking for the confidence function. So confidence and this is going to be for a sample. So I'm going to choose confidence.t and it wants alpha, standard deviation, and size, which is exactly what I've got over here to the left. So I'm going to click on my alpha value followed by comma, standard deviation, followed by comma, and then my size, and then I'll hit enter. I want to go ahead and give myself just a few decimal places here. I'll do three. So the margin of error tells me that I'm plus or minus 12.317 from my estimated mean. Let's do the mean next. The mean in spreadsheets is average, and I'm again going to click, hold, and drag through my data and hit enter and I have $31.11. To come up with my confidence interval, I'm going to take that mean which is in the middle and subtract the margin of error for the first value. So equals, I'm going to click on mean and then hit the minus key, click on my margin of error and then enter. And I can do the very same thing for my upper level of the interval, but this time I'm going to add the margin of error. So I'm going to click equals and then mean this time plus the margin of error and then enter. Next, we're going to do a 95% confidence interval, but this time we have a given population standard deviation of 22.13. Not a lot is different here. I can do one minus my confidence level to get to my alpha. My sample size is still 12. And then to calculate that margin of error, I'm going to use the other confidence interval. So this is going to be confidence dot. I'm going to choose norm because I'm given the population standard deviation. I can use the normal distribution and it's prompting me again for alpha comma standard deviation comma sample size enter. Um, I'm going to decrease the number of decimal places I've got there again to three. The mean is the same value, so I can go ahead and just copy this over, 31.11, and I'm going to do the same calculation so I can actually grab this mean minus margin of error and drag it down into the next cell. I'm clicking on that little blue box in the lower right corner. I'm going to do the same thing for the upper value click, hold, and drag, and you could, of course, decrease these decimal places as well. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.